Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today. Well, we've got Coke and we've got Molly. But don't just sit there, Shickles. Let's get busy. What do we have, folks? Hey, would you like the cheeky monkey? Could you have a cheeky okay? It's a jungle tree. One. Well, we've got Hope and we've got Molly. But someone's missing from home today. Come on, Kai. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Kai with Bobby. Bobby, hello. <laughs> It's very wild in here today. Oh, yes, it's full of jungle animals, Bobby. <laughs> now, Kai's here that we'll do something new, eh? Why don't you dress Claude up as a giraffe? Little zebra. <laughs> Off you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll roar ourselves over to the chairs, Bobby. <laughs> 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 You know, Kai would love a little animal of his own to take care of. Although, he sort of has. Here. This is where he keeps his wriggly book. His wriggly what? Um, his woodlouse. Have a look. <laughs> oh, I, I don't see anything. Oh, it's gone. Well, it's probably for the best. You're not really supposed to keep thingy bobs in little boxes. These things are supposed to roam about free. Animals usually know what's best for them. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Granny Murray. But what am I going to do about Kai? He's going to be very upset about Joshua. Joshua? Yeah, that was the name of his wriggly bug. Oh, but don't worry. I'll try and make Kai feel a bit better about Joshua. Oh, thanks, Granny Murray. That'd be really helpful. Oh, well, I must get on. Come on then, sweetheart. Oh, you look at Claude. Oh! Where's Claude? All I can see is a giraffe. When? Well, I don't know. Extraordinary. <laughs> I'm going to go to work now, Kai. That's for you. Oh, it's a picture of Joshua. Thanks, Kai. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to take that to work and I'm going to put it on the wall in my bothy. Oh, good idea. <laughs> anyway, come and give us a hug. I'll see you later. Oh. I'll see you. Night, night. Come on, my darling. Now remember, animals usually know what's best for them. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye in Bobby. Make sure she goes the right way to work. Oh, I'm a bit late today. How can I get to work quickly? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a bus. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the bus lanes. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Whining, 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 drive the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets. I'm squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. <sighs> hurry, hurry, hurry. But before I do anything, I need to put on my work clothes. Dressed and ready to go. I'm just going to pop Kai's picture of Joshua the Woodlouse um, up there. <laughs> Have you got them all? Oh, yeah, sure, Mickey John. I know Kai's really keen on animals, so I got him a present and it's in this box. Ribbit. Ribbit. Oh, you haven't got Kai a pet frog, have you? <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, Mickey John, what's all this about then? Oh, it's a toy frog. I used to have one when I was a young boy. You don't have to feed them or take them for walks, but you can have a right good laugh with them. <laughs> like we did now. I really had you going then, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Look, Mickey John, it's very, very sweet of you, but I'm afraid I've got work to do. Thanks anyway. Ta-ra. <laughs> you know, sometimes Mickey John's just like a little boy who's never grown up. Oh, I wonder how my little boy's getting on. I love to skip in Riversy Bing, Riversy Bing, go by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Bing, Riversy Bing, that's for me. I am a cow. Where do I live? Outside. Outside in this big field? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, he likes it there. What about the dog? Ruff, ruff. Um, you live in there. In the farmer's house. Yeah. Why is he looking? What about, oh, the wily fox. In the woods. In the woods, clever boy. Run away. What about your friend Joshua? Where would your wee woodlouse like to live? Outside in the garden. I think so too, darling. He would like to be stuck in a wee box or anything, would he? But I know where you should be, my lamb. You should be in the bathroom washing your hands, eh? Before supper. Oh, I wonder what Mummy's doing, eh? I bet she's washing a big bus. I wish I was brush your mum. What's that? There it is again. Louder this time. I'm getting warmer. It's kittens. Oh. Right, okay, you stay right where you are, little kittens. Stay really calm and um, I'm going to do something to help you, okay? Right. Dr Juno, it's me, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Listen, I'm at work. Could you come over right away, please? Well, no, it's not an emergency. Well, actually, it sort of is. Oh, that'd be brilliant. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Right now, before Dr Juno gets here, I'd better get on with a bit more work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Dazzle the day away Swinging to the city looking pretty and radiant The hot caps gleam, the paintwork shines A river sea double decker looks so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving she will get you there This boss is stopping from picking up and putting down This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead I got here as soon as I could, are you okay? I am so okay, come and see No, I just found them here tonight. Well, the cat's obviously looking for somewhere to live and she must have thought this was the safest place. Oh, oh be careful. They might not be socialised. They might not be what? Well, if they haven't been around people very much, they won't be very friendly. Oh. 
Oh, but they look so sweet. I know. The best place for them will be the Animal Rescue Centre. They'll look after them. They'll find a home for the cat and the kittens as well. Oh, really? Uh-huh. The kittens are ready to leave their mum and go to their new homes. Come on. First thing I'll have to do is get a cat transporter for my friend. I'll be back shortly. OK? OK. See you. Ta-ra. Oh, I wish my lovely Kai could have been here tonight to see the cat and all her baby kittens. Oh, Mr. Ted, come on then, pop it, pop up on the bed. You do love animals, don't you, Kai? Bobby was right. Hello, Mr. Bigby. I wish I was with you. Hola, I'm back with pet transport. I use one of the blankets that the cat's been lying on to line the transporter. That should make them feel at home. OK, I'll be with you in a sec. Better just tidy this up first. Right, let's see how Dr. Juno's getting on. Oh, that was easier than I expected. I'm going to get a cab to the Animal Rescue Centre. They're going to find good homes for all the kittens, with people who they know will feed them, look after them and play with them. Oh, thanks, Dr. Juno. See you later. Safe journey. Oh, bye-bye, kittens. It was nice seeing you. And now, I suppose I'd really better get on with my work before. Hello? Dr. Juno, did you come back? Hello? Oh, no. One of the kittens has been left behind. Oh, dear. I thought I'd got you and your mum and all your brothers and sisters sorted out. Now what do I do? I mean, I've got to keep you safe and warm and, and, and make sure that you get all the right food, but... Oh, I've also got all my work to do. How did I end up with you? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I took Kai to stay with Granny Murray. I told Granny Murray all about how Kai loved animals. At seven o'clock, Mickey John called round. He'd brought a toy frog for Kai. It was a brilliant present, but not a very good pet. At eight o'clock, I was hard at work when I heard a strange noise. I followed the noise around the depot and I found a cat had made her home in the bus depot and the cat had brought all her kittens with her. At nine o'clock, Dr Juno arrived to help me work out what to do. She told me that the best place for the cat was the Animal Rescue Centre. They'll find good homes for all the kittens with people who will take good care of them. I was taking a break when Dr Juno came back with a cat transporter. She lined it with a blanket that the kittens had been sleeping on and then took the cat and all her kittens away to the animal rescue centre. But one little kitten got left behind with no one to look after it or love him and take proper care of him. Now remember, animals usually know what's best for them. Animals usually know what's best for them. Right, little kitten, well, you seem to know that you want to stay with me, so... We'd better set about making you a home. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? That's right, you have a nice long sleep because you've got a very exciting adventure ahead of you tomorrow. I know another little boy who's going to be fast asleep right now and he's going to be so excited to meet you in the morning. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. Oh, that's 
Dad's good boy. Oh, Luke, who's coming? It's Mum. <laughs> Bobby, hello. Hi, Come Bobby. Away. Bobby. <laughs> hello, Kai. How are you doing? Hey. Oh, look what I've got for you. <gasps> You'll never guess. Take a look. Oh, it's a gorgeous wee kitten. <laughs> oh, Bobby, well, when did you... I mean, it's been a long night, Granny Murray, but I remembered what you said. Animals usually know what's best for them. Oh, you're not wrong. Oh, darling. Oh, Off you go home with your wee baby kitty. <laughs> Come on, let's get home. Thanks, Granny Murray. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right, come on, Kai. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. Ah, <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a giraffe because we were playing at animals. Bobby told me all about how Kai loved animals, but his only pet was a woodlouse called Joshua. But Joshua had escaped. After Bobby had gone to work, I explained to Kai that different sorts of animals like to live in different places. Kai agreed with me the best place for a woodlouse is outside. Later on that evening, Kai collected all the toy animals in the house. He gave each and every one a good night hug before going to bed. Kai had a good night's sleep, surrounded by all his toy animal friends. At work, Bobby found a cat and its kittens. One of the kittens wanted to stay with Bobby. Bobby brought it home to Kai because it seemed that animals sometimes know what's best for them. Did you like the kitten? Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to skip in river seating, go river seating, go by. I love to skip in river seating, go river seating, go that for me. Come on and get on down to the city.